Hi guys, it's Dan from DansBestTech.com. In my full video review for the 16-inch MacBook Pro base model, I briefly discussed gaming in Mac OS and in Parallels. Ultimately, I praised this laptop for finally having a decent GPU in the base model, with the exception that the base model costs $2,400. In this video, I wanted to go a little more in detail about my gaming experience. Specifically, I wanted to show and compare the gaming performance in Mac OS, in Parallels, and now in Bootcamp for five different games, Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Civilization VI, CSGO, and Fortnite. Stay tuned for more. So we all know that MacBooks aren't really meant for gaming. That said, some people like the high quality and elegance of a MacBook and still want to game from time to time. A few issues have popped up recently though. Apple has finally done it. They dropped 32-bit gaming support on macOS Catalina. Additionally, there is no way to downgrade from macOS Catalina to Mojave on the 16-inch MacBook Pros to regain 32-bit support. Wine isn't even working at this time to regain 32-bit support as well. And in order to play 32-bit games, you'll need to use Parallels or Boot Camp. In my testing though, I want to test the same game in macOS, Parallels, and Boot Camp and compare the results. As a result, our gaming solution is very limited, but let's begin the testing. I attempt to run all games at maxed out settings at approximately 50% resolution or around 1792 by 1120 resolution, which is very close to full HD. Shadow of Mordor ran at 42 frames per second in native Mac OS. The Mac OS version had significant stutter, Dialing back its settings to low at 1192 by 745 resolution boosted the FPS to only 64, and I couldn't fully remove the stutter in the benchmark. In Boot Camp, it ran at 65 FPS, much better than the Mac version. And under Parallels, maxed out settings showed an average of 8 to 30 FPS, and there was significant stutter throughout. Reducing the settings to medium showed an increase in the average FPS, but I couldn't remove the stutter. Shadow of the Tomb Raider ran at 32 FPS in native Mac OS at 1920 by 1200 resolution. Not bad. Dialing back the settings from ultra to low only increased the FPS to 46. I didn't lower the resolution though. Moving to boot camp, it ran at 34 FPS with maxed settings. And finally under parallels, maxed out settings bounced from 3 to 20 FPS and it was very stuttery. Reducing the settings to low didn't remove the stutter. Civilization VI ran at 16 FPS at 1792 by 1120 resolution in native Mac OS using OpenGL rather than the metal setting. It resulted with an average frame time of 55 milliseconds. Reducing the settings from ultra to high didn't improve much, but reducing the setting again to medium, disabling high resolution asset textures and high resolution textures smoothed everything out and increased the FPS to the mid 20s. Following the trend, it ran at maxed out settings in boot camp at 36 to 50 FPS with an average frame time of 22 milliseconds. Finally, it ran at 16 FPS under parallels at maxed out settings and 22 FPS under medium settings. That said, there was some major artifacts and the mouse wasn't showing in full screen mode. Moving to CSGO, it ran between 60 and 120 FPS in native Mac OS at 1792 by 1120 resolution and maxed out settings. Strangely, in bootcamp, you can see some significant stutter. Look at the GPU wattage. I have no idea why a game like this would cause thermal throttling, but there you have it. One game ran better in macOS than it did in bootcamp. Very strange. That said, I hear bootcamp drivers get better over time. And finally, there was still stutter in parallels as well. Reducing the settings to medium increased the FPS, but there was still some slight stutter from time to time. Moving to the final game in our list, Fortnite ran at 36 FPS in native Mac OS at 1650 by 1050 resolution. It ran around 45 FPS in boot camp though, and under parallels, no matter what I did, I couldn't remove stutter. So in conclusion, the base 16 inch MacBook Pro with the AMD Radeon Pro 5300M and four gigabytes of RAM definitely has better graphical performance over previous base MacBook Pros, and most games can be played at medium to high settings without stutter. If you need support for 32-bit applications, Parallels or Bootcamp is a must at this time. Additionally, gaming on Windows using Bootcamp will mostly always give you better gaming performance than gaming on Mac OS. And finally, if you have the cash, I recommend spending the extra $200 for the upgraded AMD Radeon Pro 5500M GPU with 8GB of RAM. This should remove the stutter issues I was having. But what do you think? 
Is the MacBook Pro 16 finally a viable option for gaming? To me, $2,400 is a lot of money, and there are a lot of cheaper gaming laptops out there. Check out my full review for some alternatives I recommend instead, some of which cost half the price. Click like if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to see more, and check out dansbesttech.com for a full written review.